Hey there, I'm D-Pad Gamer, and like most people recently, I've been playing through the latest entry into the Legend of Zelda series, Breath of the Wild. I love Easter eggs, references, and other neat stuff, so let me share some of that with you. Be sure to tell me what I missed in the comments below. Let's start with some useful stuff. You swim faster without armor. Here's a side-by-side -side for reference. When your stamina falls into the red while climbing, jumping will cover twice the usual distance. If you happen to get sent flying, you know like from that bomb that totally wasn't next to you, pull out your paraglider midair. It'll cut the animation short, and it'll avoid any falling damage. If you let a rusty weapon, or a shield, get sucked up by a rock octorok, it'll spit it out in brand new condition. When using the camera rune on the Sheikah Slate, press X to change the selfie mode. Link can hold one of eight different poses, four with the left stick, and four more with the ZL plus the left stick. If you attack a cuckoo with a weapon, it might lay an egg. It's a low chance. If you attack it too many times, however, you'll be attacked by a horde of them, which, you know, is expected for a Zelda game at this point. At every horse stable, you can find a nice dog. If you offer it three pieces of fruit or meat, it might lead you to a treasure chest in the area. Your mileage may vary. If you sneak up real ninja-like, it's possible to take deer and bears by surprise. If you calm them down, you can ride them like a horse. They can't be registered, but it's still pretty fun. While riding on a horse during the day, the horse day theme will play, quite fitting. If you played at 5 times speed, you could hear Zelda's lullaby. Very similar, if you speed up the Temple of Time music, you could hear parts of the Song of Time. So if you open up a chest from the side or back, Link will kick it open. If you try this without wearing any leg armor, Link will feel the pain. If you notice a shooting star fly across the sky, watch where it lands. At the impact location, you can find a star fragment. It's a stone used for certain cooking recipes or as a material for upgrading certain pieces of equipment via a great ferry. Located in the southwest corner of the map is Eventide Island. On the island, Link is challenged to complete some objectives while starting with no gear. The whole island is a reference to Link's awakening. Meanwhile, Kohalit Rock is somewhat egg-shaped, which in this case makes sense. Okay, so if you try jumping off this bridge while a man named Brigo is nearby, he'll try to talk Link down from the edge. It's a harmless situation, but it's a great bit of attention to detail. Ah! Lastly, on the floor at Sandbar is a shrine surrounded by a field of flowers. These flowers are cared for by Magda. She, she's a nice lady, unless you happen to touch her flowers. If you do, this is what happens.
Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more Zelda Easter egg videos, I got them all. Here's two of them you might like. Support the channel on Patreon if that's what you like to do, or subscribe for more videos from me. I'll see you next time.